So we uh, recently, just in the last year, we um, had two projects going on at the same time for the city of Banning. And uh, asphalt ran um, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches thick. And uh, so we got the zipper, we did a demo at first. You know, didn't want to see what it would do, was impressed, purchased one ourselves. And uh, went out there and I mean in I'm going to guess probably on the average I would watch and we we're probably looking at you know at 10 inches thick um, old asphalt which is actually harder um, some some of the places they had uh, some of the CTB underneath which is that concrete treated base so you'd have to kind of get through an inch or two of that in addition you know to the thickness of the asphalt and uh, we were getting on the average 100 feet, uh, one pass, 100 feet, um, about every, probably about every 10, 10 to 12 minutes. I think that's what we were timing it at. Yep. So when we bid the job, we kind of weighed out, you know, everything from saw cutting, multiple crews on that to see what this thing would do. And, and at the end of that project, other than maintaining some teeth, um, general maintenance, there was absolutely no downtime, uh, no breakdowns, no, no concerns, no nothing. And, uh, and sitting on the front of our equipment, it wasn't hard on, you know, on our loaders or anything else. To be honest with you, I'm kind of cynical on some things and, and I thought, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, videos are one thing, you know, what's the material out there and so forth. And when we tried it in the field, um, it made us money. You know, no joke. Like in some of the videos that you watch and you look and they're going through, you know, four or five inch asphalt and they're cruising right on down the road. So, and they say, all right, but when you're faced with 10, 12 inches, you know, I would have, I, I would have never believed it had I not seen it. And like I said, I think we were about 10 to 12 minutes per hundred feet, single pass. And uh, it was, it was pretty amazing, honestly it was. Yeah, 544 yeah. loader carries that thing, pushes it, you know, no problems with the weight of that machine versus our 544 John Deere, so it's very, very good. Yeah. Another thing is, is um, you don't hear it bogged down at all. You know, sometimes you have to kind of adjust your speed or so forth on different different pieces of machinery out there, and uh, but this thing was just, I guess as they call it, what's the name, the hot rod or something like that? Yeah, yep. yeah, I see why, you know, and uh, it's hey. kind of funny because you see it parked on the backside when you go by the freeway. We live here in town, and my wife and I, every weekend, we're always doing stuff, and I come by, and I tell her, you see the hot rod right there? I say, that's, that's, that's a pride and joy right there. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. When initially the purchase came up to buy our 360X, it was a lot, it was a lot to try to consider to see if it was going to be valued and uh, you know make it worth the cost after about two times of using that machine we knew it paid for itself yeah, from what we right. bought our 20 something year old, year old machine we bought was really you know dollar wise was good for what we we're using it for the jump from what that was to what this new one was was oh, yeah. 15 16 times whatever the original one we had would do this thing would have probably been closer to 20 times this thing well, productive wise, is no. We would get 50 feet every every uh, You're 20 talking minutes. Hours. Yeah, every 20, 30 minutes, you get 50 feet on our old machine. And this machine would get it gets 50 feet every 30, 40 seconds. I mean, it would just this thing just. You have to put the machine in second gear. The machine you're pushing it with is second gear because first gear is too slow. That's how fast this machine wants to eat. Mm -hmm.